Greetings. What I'm going to do in this video is show you how to insert a widget into a Captivate project. And just for reference, I'm using Captivate 7, and I'm eventually going to publish this to uh, Moodle in a SCORM format to Moodle 2.42. Um, I believe right now they're up to 2.6, but we're using 2.42. So anyway, um, easy enough. What this widget does is it stops a uh, or the forward button from showing up on the play bar while a student is looking at the lesson for the first time so they can't skip through um, skip through the lesson. Once they've watched the entire project or watched that specific slide, if they come back to it, that forward button will be there and then they can skip over it if they so wish. So with that said, all we need to do is go up here to the insert and I've already uh, navigated the folder, click on the widget and it's going to open the folder where I've got the widget stored and you can see it's in a Swift format. Um, this one has the instructions on here. Uh, they're pretty simple. Everything else we've, we've done. I hit OK and the only thing we need to re really worry about here is the running of the widget as far as a time frame and not specific time. We need to run it for the rest of the project. That will carry the widget through every one of the slides of the entire lesson all the way down to the very last one. Um, and uh, that way the student can't uh, kind of cheat themselves and, and move ahead. Let's go up from here. There we go. In segment six, we'll discuss the various signs. All right. So this concludes this uh, video. If you have any questions, post them in the comments. Appreciate it. Thanks.